we've all run in groups as part of your running club or even in races so there's always that one guy or girl that does something all the time that drives everyone up the wall and it's often very hard to call people out because you know people get a little bit upset so in this video we're going to call it out and you can share it with your running groups and you won't have to do all the calling out So the first thing we're going to look at in order not to be that runner is jingling coins or car keys or house keys in your pocket. For some people, running next to someone whose keys are jingling in their pocket drives them up the wall. It is frustrating and especially if you're running with a group or running next to that person for a prolonged period of time and you've got this jingling jangling monotonous sound over and over again for a duration of a run. Just something as simple as putting a tissue in your pocket with your keys or your coins or whatever it might be to try and stop a rattle is going to stop a lot of backlash on that run with people giving you trouble with constant noises and irritations. On the poll that we ran at coachperry.com the number one bugbear of runners was spitting okay so we know from running and the types of things that we take in while we're running that we do produce quite a lot of mucus and that often we do need to clear that out there is an etiquette to how you can do it in a far less offensive manner i think it's important to take other runners around you into consideration and if you move over to the side of the road where you are out of other people's line of sight and you bend over slightly and spit straight on the ground and keep going it's probably still not great but that's going to be far less offensive to people around you than just quickly leaning back and spitting and having your spray flying all over the place and, and upsetting runners around you. In a very close second came snot rockets. I'll be honest with you, before we did the survey, I didn't even know this had a name. And again, because we do produce excessive mucus while we're running and we do breathe through both nose and mouth, that snot that is in your nose can become irritating and impact with your breathing but the sounds associated with snot rockets are fairly disgusting and unpalatable for runners around you never mind if you accidentally get some of that on another runner i can tell you for me i think snot rockets is number one but honestly there's a very easy solution for that and that is to carry a handkerchief or something similar with you when you run then you can just simply blow your nose which is uh, is very civilized um, and won't offend anyone around you and very importantly you're not going to get that on anyone else one of my biggest pet peeves uh, that runners do is when you're running in a race and you and you're really struggling along and all of a sudden the person in front of you just stops that just throws everyone off it throws me off i struggle to then get going again you've lost your rhythm and so don't be that runner if you are feeling tired and you want to walk or you want to stop in a race uh, just have a little glance behind you and make sure that no one is behind you before you stop what is also very useful to do is, is just give a little bit of a signal to the guys behind you that you're going to move to the side and maybe have a look to to then slow yourself down just remember that when you're in a race environment there are tons of runners behind you and, and and if you just stop it's almost going to have this domino effect and have and have that effect on everyone behind you and especially in a, in a longer race or in a, in a race where everyone's starting to get a little bit tired and fatigued as well along with this and, and something that that just happens every now and then in races is where you sort of you know going around a bend and, and all of a sudden everyone wants to take the shortest distance so try and hold your line in that and I know that that's tough because we are all trying to take the shortest sort of route uh, in our races but we really want to just try and make sure that you're not cutting off the the, the other runners that are also running around that corner so just be aware of that I think the key thing here is, is you know be aware of your surroundings be aware of the other runners who are around you and use some hand signals and apologize and, and, and just show people where you're at before you're trying to make a move or just stop all of a sudden running with a boom box or a bluetooth speaker please don't be that runner not everyone around you has the same taste in music not everyone wants to listen to your music in particular for long periods of time i myself am not a very fast runner and if i'm running a long race and i can't run away from that person playing music if i don't enjoy that kind of music it can be very frustrating to have to listen to the same kind of music all day long that i really have no interest in 
it can be very frustrating. Something that ties in with that as well is running with a phone, for example, that's giving you voice prompts on every kilometer split that you might be running in a race. Again, tying back to me being quite slow, it can be so demoralizing if every kilometer or every mile I'm hearing, you are on three kilometers at seven minutes a kilometer. And I know I've still got 20 odd or 30 odd kilometers to go. It's frustrating, it's demoralizing, and I don't wanna hear that. I need to be in the zone, I need to be concentrating on what I want to do. So please don't be that runner. Keep that stuff, put it either a lot quieter if you really feel you need to hear those voice prompts, but it really isn't something that needs to be loud for the next person and everyone around you to be listening to your running splits along a run. This is probably my biggest pet peeve of all, is when other runners look down on runners when they are perhaps a little bit slower or they run distances that aren't as far or as, far, as, as further as they are running. And that really, really irks me. My belief is, is, is that if you put your running shoes on and you put one foot in front of the other and you go right foot, left foot, right foot, you are a runner. And that is, that is across the board, whether you are running at, at, at five minutes a K or eight minute miles or at eight minutes a K and 12 minute miles. That is not a, a question for me. Put your shoes on, one foot in front of the other, you are a runner. So at the end of the day, we really all just want to enjoy the road, celebrate it for everyone that is taking part in this awesome sport that we take part in. Another thing that people do that turn them into that runner is they'll rock up at a group training session with earbuds in their ear, go and sit at the back and not contribute anything for the entire run. I'm here to tell you that that is rude and a little dangerous. So when you are running in a group, you do need to be able to communicate with the people around you. So if you are running in a group of runners, leave your earphones at home. One pet peeve I have, and actually this is something that really frustrates me and gets me really worked up, is not greeting other runners or other people for that matter. When you're out on a run, I see this also coming from a cycling background hugely, is if I'm out on a run or a ride and there's someone coming past me and has the decency to greet, just greet back. Courtesy, being polite costs you nothing. It really is not too much effort for you just to crack half a smile on your face, maybe nod your head if you can't speak, just raise your hand. All of that is courtesy, it's common decency just to acknowledge someone else especially who might have taken a little bit of effort to greet you on a run greet people be polite i can tell you now put someone else in a good mood and it's probably going to put you in a good mood too for that particular run or that particular moment knowing you know what i was friendly for a few seconds on my hour run while i'm suffering i'm sure there are more things uh, that turn a runner into that runner so if you've got anything that bothers you uh, in your groups that you run in pop that into the comment section here and also share this video with the runners in your group that way hopefully you can teach that guy some etiquette without having to teach him yourself don't forget to hit the like button see you soon